been at Deeper Life for about six and a half years. Many probably wouldn't know it because I was very shy and quiet and again wrapped up in my own insecurities. I didn't really let people in and I didn't reach out. But for some reason I kept going and I know that reason is because God's God placed me in that that place that would become a place of grace right at the time when I needed it the most. All the things that our church voice has been, walking in the kingdom of God and knowing that it's right here, that we don't have to wait to one day in eternity for everything to be wonderful. God can give us complete joy and restore us right now and um, understanding sonship and identity because without God showing me my identity, and showing me that I'm completely restored because I put Jesus on me and his spirit lives in me and when God sees me he sees his son and whom he is very well pleased that identity and understanding that makes it where I I don't have a desire to reach out to anyone or anything else which is the whole reason behind my actions to begin with is I felt a need to find something else or I felt a need to seek attention or to fill that void and knowing who I am makes it where that's just not a possibility anymore and um, and then grace this was the year of grace for our church right just right before the moment this happened and um, it was a couple weeks into all of it breaking where I did I felt anxiety I felt deep fear I felt even desires to be deceitful further you know and um, you know, a couple weeks into it God just started changing things and part of that was um, bringing Pastor Mark and Mary into our home and just seeing the grace that people could show because up until that point I had seen a little bit of grace from family of course your family loves you no matter what and they didn't fully understand either. No one really did. I had to be so quiet during this time, and that was not my heart. I wish I could just tell the world. And that's why I'm doing this now. But when Pastor Mark and Marianne came into our home and just showed grace and made a statement to our church, they don't care what the outcome is. They don't care either way that they were going to stand by us and support us and be there with us and just... That whole idea of grace and love, which is what the gospel is all about, just loving others. And there was no condemnation. There was no judgment. There were no things that make people turn and run around and do the same thing over again and rebel. There's just love. And um, that extended throughout our whole church, without throughout my, all my friends, my family. And uh, unity has grown so much this year. Lives have been changed as we've all grown closer and been able to rely on one another and speak life into one another more than I've ever seen before at the church. Not just because I wasn't involved at the church, but I still believe more than ever. <laughs> and um, I'm so thankful for all the support and all the friends that I have there. Not just friends, family, y'all are family. And for standing by my side, and for standing by Chris and Claire's side, and for just loving us and letting us into your lives so we can love you. And I appreciate it more than you'll ever know. And glory to God in that, because again, God placed me there this past six years for this moment. And uh, I am beyond thankful for the blessings he still gives. So see, it's not God punishing me. None of this is. God did not bring this to light to punish me. I believe God brought it to light so he could change me forever. And um, I, I'm thankful because without him picking me up and making me realize that I was in a very dark place and I don't know what could have happened. And uh, Jesus has saved me. <laughs> well, that's you. it. I thought I had an amazing life before this. And to anyone on the outside looking in, I did. But I was a hurt person and a person who had a lack, so it wasn't perfect. And the house, it wasn't perfect. It was actually too big and too expensive and I'd love to never have that again. <laughs> God has completely changed the desires of my heart. And even when those things were taken from me, he tore it like a Band-Aid and it didn't even sting. Again, it's just a complete change of heart where 
that wasn't important anymore. And um, so he's given me new life. And I'm so excited that that's a possibility because now I just want it so much for others. And um, so if God uses this situation in any way to free someone, to heal a broken heart, to change a mind, to renew a mind, then, then I, I ask him, bring it, bring his kingdom into people's lives and set them free and give them that peace. Not just the word peace that we toss around, but that true peace that passes the understanding and um, joy. He brings true joy right here, right now.